inshallah. First of all, before I go there, Siddiq, you called me a liar. I think we are supposed not to go against each other in that manner. You called me a liar which goes against that the That shouldn't be an issue. Go, when you finish, when you no, finish no, we'll, the program, we'll, go, we'll, and, listen, let me, let, let me go and listen to yourself I, when you were referring to where, the way you were describing, you were saying sectarians, you were saying this, and the way you were describing them. You put it there that there will be no more people will be Let's be honest. Did, did I point you and say you, Siddiq? No, I'm part of those you are talking about. So that shouldn't be an issue. Let's, uh, let's, you take let's, it for let's yourself. move on. Okay, no problem. Again, I'm, I'm part of them. I'm part of, no I'm part of no those you are, you are talking Again, about. Again, it wasn't time for rebuttals, but you were already taking from my presentation and attacking me instead of going with your presentation. So you so are failed in the first place. Don't worry. That, that is, is, is for the audience. Okay. Uh, to judge, uh, it's for those who are listening. They want guidance to, to judge that, inshallah. So you can start with so now, your, uh, The next audience. time, we are now going for rebuttals. This is the time we have to do rebuttals. You are supposed to do presentation, but no problem. So the rebuttals, I'm going to deal with you step by step, whatever you do. So we are, that one will be the 10 minutes. So you can choose the 10 minutes. Before it starts, you let me know. Then I can start dealing with you. Now, to take it back. Before, if, I'm start, if I'm ready, you let me know. Then I can start. Let me take it back. Uh-huh. So if I'm ready, then you can put it, mm. right? Uh -huh. mm. So now the rebuttals, you can let it start. Siddiq came to me, he quoted chapter 22, verse 8, where God says, Right? Okay. So he quoted this verse and he's attributing this verse with me. What I am able to defend my first notion of instance by giving my evidence as a presentation on why the Quran doesn't need the Hadith for what explanation? The Quran is sufficient. Alhamdulillah. This guy went on to call the Prophet the teacher. He says Muhammad is the teacher of the Quran. Yet Siri couldn't provide one verse where God attributes Muhammad as the teacher of the Quran. If you say he's the teacher of Al-Kitab by teaching people, fine, I agree. But if you can find me one verse in the Quran where God says Muhammad is the teacher of the, the word Al-Quran, Wallahi, you don't have such a verse. I'm waiting. Secondly, you say Bayan. And then without quoting a source, you are giving us the meaning of Bayan without a source. How can you bring rebuttals? You are rebutting somebody, rebutting somebody already, and you don't have a source for your argument. <laughs> he says Bayan, and then he went to Bayan. He went to twist meaning by quoting 65 verse 1, Mubayinat. When I quoted my verses, I didn't quote any word called Mubayinat in my verses. Again, he goes to quote chapter 43 verse 52, you being. Uh, you buy, you know, you been, he says, uh, Pharaoh used that word. Does Arabic words or do Arabic words actually have only one meaning? The answer is no. Arabic words have multiple meanings. However, you need to check the subject of discussion and context to get the meaning. Simple logic. This guy has failed. Quran chapter 3 verse 138. Let's school this guy a bit. He says the Haza is used for people. Fadika Baru. Haza wasn't intended for the people. If we say people, we say ha ulai or we say ulaika, those or these. They don't use haza for the people. We use haza, haza in that verse for the thing being discussed. That's why God says haza, haza bayan linas. But you made a mistake saying that haza is indebted for the people. Wallahi, you have borrowed big time. You could have said the uh, uh, or ha ulai, that is what is used as we used in Quran chapter 18, verse 89. When God told the messenger that you will be a witness to ha ulai, these people, right? So you have messed up. Quran chapter 3, verse 138, haza is denoting what is in front of you. The following if you have studied Arabic, then wabom, you didn't do well. Now the rebuttals again, instead of coming to do his presentations, now we don't have Siddiq's presentation, it's missing. Where's the presentation? Phew. Why dodge? So he came and took my verses, misquote me, and came presenting. Now I have to do rebuttals by coming to the verses he came to quote against me. This guy is out of coverage area. So I was even listening to the beginning. I was even listening to the beginning of his presentation. I thought, ah, is it the debate we are doing or we are coming here to preach? The guy is actually a preacher. I thought he's a debater. He's not even qualified to be a debater. I've done international debates. Like this guy doesn't come next to them at all. 
are now going off topic. You are, stick, stick to the no, topic. No, 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 no. I didn't interrupt you. Please, wait. I didn't interrupt ah. you. No, no, no. Sidi, please, don't do that. I never said when one is going no, off no, topic. We have to extend, extend my time if you if you no, interrupt. Has, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Extend our oh, debate, please, mean please, 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 please. You are interrupting me. Okay, don't go, go against the rules. <laughs> Let me put the rules on the screen. Don't interrupt me, please. I, you will extend one minute of my time for interrupting, right? Uh -huh. I never interrupt you. Okay, so we are going to extend one minute of my time. Now we said the actual debate is to you for you to do a presentation. You never did. You came taking my verses and twisting words out of context. Come and give the rebatters. No rebatters. You, you did wisely. Everything you did was out of coverage area. There wasn't even presentation. Come and show us why the uh, Hadith explains the Quran. You couldn't show anything. So now, Siddiq, the argument is you have made a claim. So come and rebuild my claim now. You said Muhammad is the teacher, teacher of the Quran. Come and show us one explicit verse where it says Al Quran, the teacher of Al Quran. Because as far as I know, chapter 55, verse 1, Al Rahman, Allah Al Quran, Khalak al Insan, Allah Al Bayan. Allah is the teacher of the Quran. If you can give me one verse where it says Muhammad is the teacher of Al Quran, listen to me, not Al Kitab, Al Quran. Wallahi, Wallahi, I will stop being a Muslim today. Again, secondly, you said Bayan, you quoted without a source. It means you don't know how many multiple meanings a word can have based on context. You went to quote Bayan. I don't know which verses you are quoting, but you quoted it out of context. It doesn't suit it. Chapter 43, verse 52, you went to quote Mubin concerning Fara'un, whilst forgetting that one word in Arabic meaning, and Arabic can have multiple meanings. You fail to understand that. Quran chapter 65, verse 1, concerning the Talaq, you went there, Mubayinat, used there, I never quoted any verses relating to the word Mubayinat, but you fail to understand that when a word has a prefix and a suffix, it can have a different meaning. I never use Mubayinat. And again, we went, Chapter 3, verse 138, you failed by using what? Haza to mean the people. That is wrong. You could have even done your best to find the word Zalika. If God says Zalika, then we can even say he's talking about something above. But for the people, you could have noticed that when we say ha ulai or we say Ula'ika, then it means for the people. Haza is something in front of you. Just like Quran chapter 45, verse 11, God says Haza Hudan, something in front of you. Haza, the following. We've all been to the classroom academically. So your teacher is saying, these are the following, or this is the following. You should know what is being uh, presented to you in front of you. So you've quoted the verses out of context, and I'm sorry to say. Now, Siddiq, let me give you the rebuttal to deal with. Now, hadith against hadith. On the authority of Abu al yama on the authority of Shu'aib, on the authority of Al-Zuri, Urwa bin uh, Urwa, uh, Zubair, uh, then we have narrated by Aisha. Uh, please, can you mute your mic? You are interrupting my this thing. Can you mute your mic on the air? Uh -huh. So on the authority of, uh, uh, narrated by Aisha, that is the Hadith is found in Sahih al-Bukhari, 2155. According to the Hadith, it says the Prophet said, why do some people impose conditions which are not present in the book of God? Whoever imposes a condition which is shorta, which is not in the book of God, that condition is invalid. Even if he imposes 100 conditions, for Allah's conditions is more binding and reliable. So according to your own hadith books, the prophet is saying, What is a condition? An assumption on which rests the validity or effect of something. According to your own hadith books, which I don't believe, the God never asked me to believe in your books, but if you believe in this book, your hadith is telling you, and your prophet is telling you according to your own hadith, which you believe. I don't believe he said that. But if you impose a condition which is not found in the book of Allah, which we all know the book of Allah is Quran, it is not those books your scholars are fa fabricating and attributes to, the, to God and his messenger. If you impose a condition which is not found in the book of God, that condition is batila, is batila. So you should come and answer that. Why? Your prophet is telling you in your own hadith books that any condition you put which is not in the book of God, that condition is battle. You are bringing us conditions that if we don't believe in your hadith, we are kafirs. This is what you said in your presentation. We are kafirs. Quote me one verse from the Quran where it says, if I don't believe in an external hadith book, I'm a kafir. Allah, I'll 
Stop being a Muslim if you can do that. That's the second challenge to you. Then again, the book of Zud of and softening hearts, hearts. Sahih Muslim 3004. The prophet is saying, You are now telling us that the prophet has given you authority to write your hadith books. Now, according to your hadith books, which I don't believe, it is telling you do not write anything huh, from the prophet except the Quran. And whoever writes anything apart from the Quran should wipe it out. If face it and narrate from him. Now, we all know narration is different from writing. If I say tell people something about me, it doesn't mean write it down. And he's talking to his people according to the context of your hadith. So if he's telling the people, just like God told him in chapter 93, verse 11, where he says, Fa'amma bini mati rabbika fahadis. Fahadis meaning to narrate something. So if you are narrating something about Muhammad, which is okay, but writing it down and saying it's part of Islam, it means something illogical is happening. So now, according to your hadith, if you can prove to me where Prophet Muhammad finally gave Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Imam uh, whatever, Tir uh, Tirmidhi and so on, where they have to present books and attribute it part of Islam for you to follow. Come and present to me the argument where Prophet Muhammad, actually, listen carefully, Prophet Muhammad gave the authority for you to follow such books. Simple. And again, we go. So now I've given you how many assignments? Four assignments already. I can add more, but because of time, let's wait for your rebuttals in the next 10 minutes and we deal with you pleasantly. Yeah, we can stop at time. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Sadiq. By the way, I'll take one minute from you. There was an agreement. There was an agreement. No, no. Uh, there was an agreement. You said it, but you can you can go ahead with it. Okay, no problem. No problem. It's okay. Sorry. Go. No problem. For the sake of time. For the sake of time, because we don't have too much time. So Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. You are pressing on something and it's disturbing me here. I don't know what you are pressing on. Can I, can I move on now? You are pressing on something and it's it's making noise here. Hello? Hello? Shahab, can you hear me? I can't hear you now. I said we can hear you. Okay, so you were pressing on something. No, the timer. That is the timer. The timer, you have to oh. start it. Like, go, oh. let okay. it go. Okay, so Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ya jma'in amma ba'd. Okay, so uh, the issue with this Quran yun is out straight rejection of uh, the Quran. Because they will then coin, like I said, they will coin their own thing, they will coin their own schema, and anyone who doesn't believe in the schema, for example, they say, show me where the Prophet, uh, Allah, the Quran says, the Prophet is the teacher of the Quran. Meanwhile, there are a lot of alfaz in the Quran that shows that the Prophet Sallam, the Quran was sent to him, and he is the teacher of the Quran. For example, uh, Surah Al-Nahl, Quran chapter 16, verse 54. If you have your Quran, anyone who has the Quran can open uh, to that uh, verse, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَمَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا لِتُبَيِّنَ لَهُمُ الَّذِي اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةً لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ Wallahi, these people, they are not believers. Wallahi, these people, they are kuffar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَمَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ and there is nothing that we have sent in the book for you, to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Illa, except that, لِتُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ Except that you are the one to explain it. لِتُبَيِّنَ Muhammad, you are the one to explain it. Siddiq, Siddiq, there is a mistake. Mistake what? There is a mistake, let me correct you. There is a mistake. Mistake is, wait, wait, till I, wait till I finish. Wait till I finish. No, no, no. We, it's a part, no, it's part of the agreement. It's part of the rules. If you make a mistake, when you I were correct. going wayward and I was correcting you, you said no, I you didn't correct me. No, 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 no. It wasn't a correction. Okay. You what were correcting me of something. What is the correction? Go on. What's the correction? Okay. Now you say you should explain it. The verse doesn't say you should explain it. Go back and check. 
So you keep quiet and then you don't. You are reading English. I'm reading Arabic. So keep quiet and listen to the listen to. Uh, no, but you made a Arabic. mistake. Let's there is no the mistake room. here. Leave you it to the, the audience to judge. You have no, no, you have no background. Wait, wait, no, no. So leave, leave, that, leave, leave that wait. to leave that to the audience. Leave that no, to no. the audience. Mm -hmm. We didn't agree the audience will do that. We agreed Baba, both of us to do that. What where is the mistake? Where is the mistake? The verse you quoted. He doesn't say he should. Wait, you are taking it. like three minutes from my time. So pay attention to that. I've, I've we paused the time. No, the pause is the time is paused. I didn't take anything. It's paused. I said you made a mistake. That is a part of the rule. Put the rule on the screen. Let everybody see the rules. What is the mistake? That's what I want to hear. He doesn't say explain it. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Show the verse. Let me show the verse on the screen. And let's okay, see where so, he says he should so, explain it. So, Baba, leave huh? that for those who are learned. You are not learned in Arabic. Allah is saying that Wama and Zanna alayka. So you are not even this is not even a cross-examination. So just leave that, okay? So no, leave no. That to, leave so that to your ignorance. That was the rules. The rules we set is useless. Is that what you are telling me? Subhanallah. Okay. So the verse you quote that you said, uh, "Thumma inna alayna bayana." When you said "Thumma inna alayna bayana," where is bayana who at the end of the verse? Where is uh, it is? Uh, how do you call it? And no, then no, no, to explain it. Then that is your issue. When you came to the rebuttal, why couldn't you address that? You never so addressed that. Point, then it's not necessarily in Arabic when something has been mentioned, a subject has been mentioned to be No problem, no problem. At the end. You are so not going to no, Arabic. No, no, no problem. Leave that, to, leave that to the public. It's okay, it's okay. You let me play quoted, the time. You have quoted a verse that said, so I said in a bayana. Sidiq. You brought Sidiq. this. You brought this. You said so many in a bayana. Sidiq. Let, no problem. Let me play your time. Continue. <laughs> Allah 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 Let me play the verse. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Your time. Wait. Your time. I'm going to play it. Wait. I don't worry. I've already played it. You don't need to play it. Uh -huh. okay, Allah 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 said, Wama anzalna alaykal kitaba. And we did not. We did not say the al wama here. That is what we call in Arabic that is a waka'atin natira. Fi ash-sharfi yufidul umum. That is when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when, uh, how do you call it? When an uh, indefinite article is used in terms of a condition, it su uh, suffices um, generalization. Wama, and there is nothing that we have sent to you. Anzalna alaykal kitab, anything that we have sent in the book for you. Illa, except that you are the one, litubayyina, it is for you to explain lahum for them. Alladhi ikhtalafu fihi, that in which they have disputed. Wahudan, the Quran again, it is guidance. Warahmatan and it is mercy liqaumi yu'minun for those that believe. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the message to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again he said, Jalla sana'uhu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Wa anzalna ilayka dhikra, again surah al-Nahl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Wa anzalna ilayka dhikra, litubayyina linnasi ma nuzzila ilayhim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Wa anzalna ilayka dhikra. And we have sent the dhikr to you. We have sent a reminder to you. Litubayyina linnasi, so that you explain to the people, ma nuzzila ilayhim, what has been sent to them. What was sent to mankind was the Quran. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah said, he is the one to explain that. Now back to, the surah, the verse you use in Surah Al Qiyamah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said, Yeah, no, that is that will be under uh, cross examination, inshallah. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said, uh, Inna alayna jama'ahu wa qur'ana, then he said, Thumma inna, inna alayna jama'ahu wa qur'ana, Thumma inna alayna bayana. It is for us to gather the Quran to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the recitation, the huruf of the recitation. So Allah then mentioned the recitation, which is the Quran. That which is recited. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Thumma, then, Thumma, Thumma means then. Then means it is not the same thing that is going to be mentioned. The Quran was mentioned, then Allah said, Thumma inna alayna. It is for us to explain. Thumma inna alayna bayana. Then it is for us to explain. Meaning that the Quran is there. That is what we all believe in. This is the Quran. And then there is an explanation to it. And therefore, Baba Shu'aib will come and tell us where he will be able to explain the verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. The verse in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبِيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ تِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling the Muslims, 
that eat and drink until the black thread is differentiated from the white thread. The black thread is differentiated from the, black, uh, the white thread. What is the black thread and what is the white thread? It is the Quran, it is, sorry, it is the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that explained to us that the white thread is the day and the black thread is the night. And when that, there's a distinction between that, the, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he said, Thumma atimu siyama ila layl, then complete your fasting in, uh, to the night. Now, this is the hadith. He should come and tell us where he got uh, that, where he got, uh, he will have that uh, in the Quran, khaytul uh, abiyadu and khaytul aswadi min al-fajr from the Quran, insha'Allah. Again, he continued to say that uh, because uh, it, it causes contradiction in the hadith and contradiction in the hadith. Wallahi, I say to them that this is a contradiction in your limited schema. In your upgrowing schema, when things are getting confused in your mind, you think that is the reality. Again, the Quran said to us that Isa alayhi salatu was salam, Jesus Christ alayhi salatu was salam, was not killed. Wama kataluhu, wama salabuhu, wala kin shubbi halahum. He was not killed, he was not crucified, but it appeared to them so. So Isa alayhi salatu was salam, by the position of the Muslims, Isa, Jesus Christ, was not killed. He never died, he was never crucified. Isa alayhi salatu was salam was risen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to himself. The Quran again in Surah Al-Maryam, Isa alayhi salatu was salam, he then said, Salamuna alayya yawma walidtu wa yawma amutu wa yawma uba'atu hayya. Peace be upon him, up, upon me. The day I was born and the day I will die and the day I will be resurrected. Anyone who doesn't have deeper knowledge in the Quran will say that there is a contradiction. Again, the, the ayah in the Quran where Allah said that, and we have not left anyone forever. Uh, uh, before you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, meaning anyone who came before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died. So this is the position of the Ahmadiyya that Isa alayhi salatu wa sallam also died. They find it to be contradictory and therefore they find their way out. So if you are going to use the same limited schema, the same uh, how do you, shadow, uh, shallow mind to measure the hadith, that's what you're going to say, contradiction, contradiction. And that is the same thing people like you, the Ahmadis, are, say, are, are doing with the, uh, with the Quran. Contradiction, contradiction. They say, and the, and the, uh, the people like Abraham, the Moshe, and the rest, they said there's contradiction in the Quran. So it's the same, it's the same measure. There is no way a, Quran, a hadith that is sahih, a sarih, in a hadith will contradict a hadith that is sahih. Just like the Quran never contradicts itself. Now again, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Jum'ah, he mentioned, that uh, about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, هو الذي بعث في الأمنيين رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said he is the one that raised هو الذي بعث في الأمنيين رسولا he is the one that raised from the people of Mecca that's the أمنيين رسولا منهم from among them Yatlu alayhim ayatihi, reciting the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ayat of Allah to them. Yatlu alayhim ayatihi, wa yuzakihim, and he purifies them. Wa yu'allimuhum al-kitaba wal-hikmah. And then he teaches them the kitab, which we all believe that is the Quran. Wal-hikmah and wisdom. Now, pause here. They said the Prophet used to teach them knowledge. Yu'allimuhum al-yu'allimuhum. He teaches them. He teaches them. Then what does it teach them? Kitab, the book, the Quran, wal hikmah, and the wisdom. Anyone at all who has studied uh, critical thinking or has studied information studies should go and check for the meaning of knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is the understanding of information, and wisdom is the understanding of, of when, on when to place this knowledge, where, and how. That is wisdom. When you know something and you, you know that I'm supposed to place this at this position and that in this position at this very time, that is wisdom. And that is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is the guide to the Quran. He's the teacher of the Quran. And that is what he did. And the hikmah here from the time, the beginning of Islam, the hikmah here, the majority of the Muslim generation and the scholars, the real scholars, not the Google scholars, they have explained, they have translated the hikmah here to be the teachers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So in case you need verses that to say that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the teacher of the Quran, like I've given to you, Allah said, we have not given you a verse in the book except that you are the one to explain. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, he has revealed a zikr to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to, uh, uh, to explain. Now, we don't wait for you 
or people like you who have not been anywhere. Now, you mentioned that you, you have studied classical Arabic. What you didn't mention is where you studied it and who, from whom you studied, you studied it. You have no background in the Quran, no background in, in, in uh, how do you call it, in the Arabic language. But then you form, you, you, you claim to be a scholar. We should leave all this, the teachings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should leave the teachings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, leave the teachings of the Sahaba and come to someone who has no basis in Arabic, nor the, uh, the Quran, or the Hadith, to come, and, to come and listen to, saying that, oh, the Quran, this verse, explain this, this verse. So, inshallah, without wasting of my time, my time is almost up. So, inshallah, I'll, I'll post it here, and then we'll move to the next one. Sidiq. A recap. A recap of the timing and uh, the schedule and then the rules. Can you put it on the screen for people to see? A recap before we move on. No, no, let, let, we have already played that. Let's move on. No, there's a reason why I say we should put that before I go, before I, we go to the next point. Can you, it's a recap, it's beneficial for, for the audience also. So put it, can you maximize it a bit? Let me see. Is it, is it possible to maximize it or? Yeah, I'm checking. Okay, so we've already done introduction and representation. Uh, we've done 15, 15 minutes of presentations. Uh, we've done 10, 10 minutes of rebuttals from the presentations, which was supposed to be. And now we are moving on to the 30 minute section of the back and forth recap. That is by questioning the sources of information, right? So cross examination at the same time. And um, uh, we go one question at a time, right? But now what has, what actually happened is because we skipped to a point where we were not supposed to start the questioning and it's already happened because this is where we were supposed to do that. And then actually go back and forth with a question and then, you know, deliberate on the issue. But then th that issue was done earlier on, which was not supposed to happen. 